Yo, what's up guys? It's been a little while, but I'm back at it again with the tutorials, and I, I got a good one. Like, I'm gonna show you guys how to make, um, like a really distorted hard trap metal beat, like, um, like old Zirachi beats, you know, stuff like that. Um, first, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. I'm gonna show you both parts. So that's what it sounds like, and yeah, let's just get started. So first, I start with a sample. Um, it's a sample out of Zypher's kit. It's a very good sample. All the whispers of that. I threw effects on it, such as um, a parametric EQ, which just cuts the lows, a fast distortion, which adds some saturation to it, um, a volatile room for a reverb, and a low pass filter. And then I automate these. So it starts with the lows, and it just slowly goes away as the drop comes. And then I also duplicated it, uh, put it in double time so it, it speeds up when it drops. Also, I pitched it up an octave, and I also added another sample in the background. Fast distortion ball holler room. And yeah, and then finally I had so it pitched up again with the same effects on it. And now I'm gonna get into the drums. The drums are very important. So First, I have a riser, and then... Yep, so a regular riser, and then an impact, and then a reverse kick when it goes into the drop. This uh, adds a cool clipping sound to it. So when it drops, I'll show you what I have in the pattern. It's not much. So, let's start with the 808. The 808 is very important. Um. I'll show you the effects I put on it. Nothing. Okay. So, and here's the pattern. The eight, this is what the 808 sounds like. It's out of kit. Very cool 808. So, I did this. Yep. And then I also layer it with a sub bass, and I'll show you the effects on that. It's just a fast distortion for saturation. The reason why I added subs is I didn't I want the bass to clip. The, how you make a sub is you open three times oscillator, turn it on the course for everything, and then go to the wrench and click C7, or right click it. And yeah. Adds a bit more width to it. And then I added a kick, which is follow the 808. Cool tip with the kick is if you just go to the wrench and turn the volume up, it will clip very hard. And then I added three snares. No mixing on them. Fuck mixing. They're all death step snares, so it has a cut. Yeah, it sounds cool. I just turn the volume up on them, and then a crash every four steps. It adds energy. Like, crashes always add energy. And then finally, the hi-hat. I'll show you what I put on the hi-hat. Hi-hat, very important drama, metal, in my opinion. Pretty serious when I answer, just widens it, so like, fuck, that's not the hi-hat. I'll show you without the effects. Sounds very dry and boring, so I add that, widens it, and then a, um, a reverb. And here's the pattern for it. And then I just added some perks. Just a generic, you know, sound. And then a fill. Also, do not forget the reverse kick. So what I do is I just get the reverse kicks on my V1 drum kit. All my drum kits will be linked in the description. You can check them out if you want. They're all trap metal. Some have like wave sounds in them. My V4 does. They're very nice. And then that, and yeah, that's the drums. It's actually very simple. 
And then finally, I added an acapella. Now, I'm going to show you how to mix the acapella. So, this is what the acapella sounds like dry. Excuse me. Oh, I see. It's not very boring and dry, so I had two distortions, rarely beef it up, a vocal codex with backing vocals on it, or backing voices, this adds like a very wide and a lot of dynamics, so this is what it sounds like with the Yeah, and then for the Ghost of Blue vocals, I just added the same thing. Make sure you cut the lows, like the sub frequencies. And yeah, that's the whole beat. I'm going to play the whole thing so you guys could take a little listen to it. And yeah, hope you enjoy. It's very simple, by the way. It's just like the best trap metal beats are the simplest, you know. I wanted to say something, so I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading recently. I've been actually just like working on my own music. I don't really make trap metal. I mean, sometimes I still do, but I've been making like sad wave type of music, and I would really appreciate if you guys checked it out. I will leave a link to my SoundCloud in the description. If you made it this far, you're you're a goat, by the way. But yeah, I'll leave links to my SoundCloud in the description, and also like links to my drum kits if you guys want to support me. I'm gonna start uploading um more frequently now. Now that I'm kind of like listening to trap metal again. It's just like winter is fucking, you know, hard because seasonal depression and shit. But yeah, 